Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Housewives of Atlanta. This is the season finale. Art imitates life and it all comes down to this guys. This is the Drew and Ralph thing that we've been hearing about all uh, season. Pretty Well, before the season started, we know that you know what all in the tabloids with the divorce stuff and all that. So this, this is where we're gonna get this, this episode. But when we're starting off, we get a glimpse of uh, we see little Brooklyn and Kenya, you know, she's doing her like she's in the Kenya Moore hair studio doing her little hair. We have a little cute scene there. We see a, a little small glimpse of Mecca with Sheree and Cairo. They're all in the, the little gym. You know, she's practicing, I guess, crawling. Or... And so we get Candy and Todd. They're talking about the movie, The Past, you know, just about, I guess, the little premiere of the trailer they're going to have about the guests, how many people they're going to invite, just little snippets of stuff. And we finally get to see the late archive that we haven't seen in how many uh, episodes, season, whatever. We never see her at work. So it is still there. It still, it still does exist, I guess. It's there. There is a little archive. Um... And so we see Jack's son, y'all. So we see her at Dr. Jackie's office. She's getting her a checkup. I think it's her five-week checkup. Marlo shows up there to help support her because Ralph isn't, not Ralph, Ross isn't there. And so she's there kind of as a little support, you know, and she's just telling Dr. Jackie how happy Deuce is about the baby. He listens to her stomach all the time and he hopes it's a little girl. He wants a little sister. So we start off, guys, it says it's March 3rd, 2023. And Drew and Ralph are talking. They're having a conversation like they always do. Like uh, they're not even in the same marriage. Uh, she's saying, you know, he's been saying how busy he's been. And, you know, she's saying she's been busy working as well, you know, with the movie. And he's saying, yeah, like busy having sex. So we get the little music and Drew looking crazy, uh, as she always does. Uh, but, you know, they continue to talk and she expresses, she lets us know that Ralph has moved out of the bedroom. He doesn't sleep there. And he's like, yeah, no, I don't sleep there because, I mean, you come home so late and you disturb my sleep. They show where he's been sleeping, which is one of the kids' uh, beds. They also have a conversation about Courtney calling her a bitch. We're talking about the bitch thing again. We're back to that. She tells uh, Ralph what happened and how she's not pleased with that you know she's supposed to be family he's listening and he's like okay yeah he says no nah, that wasn't cool and he's she's like so what do you think about it what are you gonna do about it he's like well I don't I don't feel no kind of way about it she didn't insult me and you know Drew that hurts her feeling she's you know she didn't like that and she's like if I don't rock with somebody you're not supposed to rock with somebody and he's like how am I not rocking with her over something like that. He says, Kenya, Marlo, Sheree, everybody calls you a bitch. Y'all call each other bitches. What, why is this so bad? Because she said, bitch, you want to, and you want to be through with her because of that. Drew gets upset. She leaves crying like she's not dealing with that. So Drew goes into the kitchen. And in the kitchen, there's her sister, Allison, and her assistant. I think his name is Anthony. Ralph follows her in there, you know, try to put his arm around her and say, ask if she's okay. And she's like, no, I'm not okay. I mean, why would you say that? just brought up the thing again, like saying that everybody calls, you know, they all call each other bitch. Everybody says bitch. Why is it a bad word now? And so Allison says, well, your cousin says she doesn't use that word. And she said in my face and told me she didn't. And for her to say that, I don't think that's cool. And you know, Ralph is like, well, hold on, hold on. You really ain't, you ain't even in this. You ain't got nothing to do with this. And she's saying, well, you bought me into it. I was mad in my own business. I and you want to ask me about it? Oh, I, I don't recall him asking her anything. I think Drew brought her into it. Drew asked something about it. Um, like then Courtney say she didn't she didn't use the word bitch, and then Allison was like, yeah, she said in my face and told me. So everybody's upset with Ralph uh, over this, and and Drew's hurt. I just I don't know what it is with their relationship. It's it's like they're not. I don't know. It's it's like they're in two separate marriages to me. And he he sees things one way, she sees it another way. Just like even with him not being in the bedroom anymore, he says. You know, he sees that as winning. They're seeing Dr. Ken. And, you know, Drew's telling him telling him about how she doesn't feel supported. Uh, how she don't, doesn't feel like she can speak in her marriage. And, you know, just be open. And also that he's, you know, he's moved out of the bedroom. And it's like he thinks it's okay. And she doesn't see the marriage getting any better. Uh, you know, she said, of course, you know, Ralph has stopped going to counseling. I've been still going. And Ralph says, look, it's because I've been working on what I need to work on. Don't you see the difference? Drew doesn't say anything. 
And so Ralph is like, you know, and even with me moving out the, I moved out the bedroom to work on myself. He says, I need to, he says, I, I need time to reflect and meditate. And so Drew is like, I mean, that's not, that's not cool, Ralph. The kids are noticing it. And he's like, the kids ain't noticing it. She said they are. So Ken is trying to jump in and say something. But Ralph is like, hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, Dr. Ken, wait, let me say this. He said, her best friend and her husband have, uh, they don't even sleep in the same bedroom anymore. But everything's all good with them. He said, I see that as winning. And Drew is like, yeah, and they're getting a divorce. And so, you know, Ralph does a little stupid look where he's blinking his eyes. But he still feels like, you know, what, what's wrong with us living in separate bedrooms? You doing your thing, I do my thing. And you know what? It makes both of us more a happy person. Be happy. We see uh, Sheree and her daughter, her oldest daughter, Tiara. They're in the car, you know, talking, just discussing things. And uh, they happen to bring up the thing about uh, Bob bringing, her name is Candace, which is his daughter, to the baby's uh, seeing reveal. And, you know, she's asking Tiara, she said, did you know about her? And she's like, you know, well, yeah, I've seen her around. You know, she's she's been around a few times. And she's like, oh, it's because I didn't know. I, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know. That was my first time meeting her. I didn't, I didn't know anything about her. And so she, Sheree lets us know that, you know, it wasn't her kid's uh, place to tell her. It's Bob's place to tell her. And, you know, and Tiara is like, you know, I just thought, she said, I didn't know you didn't know. I thought uh, maybe you found out, you know, it was a kid he found out about. And, you know, she just started right, you know, started coming around or whatever. And I thought he had told you about it. And she's like, no. To me still, guys, I don't know what type of, I don't, I don't, can't even see why. It's not even just telling it on Bob. Sheree says that Tierra and Bob have, have a very close relationship. And I can't, I would like to think he didn't say, don't tell your mom about it. And even if he did, you know, that's her mom. I can't see just even in talking, just like with me and my kids, this is going to be revealed some kind of way. Like, yeah, dad bought a, a girl around and said, that's our sister or whatever. I don't see this telling on anybody, but it does to me say a lot about the type of relationship they have with their mom. Like out of those three kids, nobody, not one kid said it's another girl that's our sister that's coming to family functions or whatever. Not, you know, say, cause her and Bob weren't even together anymore. So it, it shouldn't have been to where there was going to be any ill feelings about it. It would have been shocking. Yeah. But if I don't want Bob anymore, we're not together anymore. You know, it is what it is. Ain't nothing I can do about it. But I would, you know, be curious to know, like, yeah, why did he hide her? Why he? she already knew about two other kids he had. I don't know how one will make any difference. One more will make any difference to where she had to, you know, he had to lie about it. I see a scene when you and her dad are at Kenya's house. And I guess he's, he's staying there with them for a minute just, you know, to get, get more acquainted with Brooklyn because they met not too long ago. And they're sitting there and you know kenya brings up the idea to him that she's actually been considering having another child he's like are you crazy you almost died the first time and she's like well you know i it's something i want to do but there is a thing called surrogacy out there and i can actually get someone to carry the baby for me so that i won't have to go through those um you know risk take that risk of having a baby at my age and he's you know he's like oh okay so that's cool if you do that and I guess he, the next thing is to let him know that where this baby is coming from. So she lets him know that, you know, she still has some embryos um, from when she was with uh, Brooklyn's dad. I can't think of his name, but she still has the embryos from there. And, you know, and he's like, well, what does he think about it? Does he know? And Kenya says, no, I haven't told him yet. I don't know if I will. It's, it's just out of fear of what he may say. You know, the embryos rightly belong to her paperwork-wise because they discussed that and they, she had something put in writing that way. But she still doesn't know if he could file an injunction or he would do something else sneaky because he's known to do that. Just We know that just from how long this divorce is taking. It, it shouldn't take this long to get a divorce if both people are you know, through with each other. And I don't know what the holdup is, uh, but she she just, she doesn't want to say anything about it right now. So it's the day of the trailer preview. Uh, they were expecting, they said Candy and Todd agreed upon over 100 people at, you know, the preview. Uh, but they end up getting like 200 to confirm they were coming. 
uh everybody's there everybody looks good showing up we have mama joy she's even there uh and she seems to be pretty pretty calm not like the mama joyce we are used to seeing and candy lets us know that you know todd's and can't todd and mama joyce's uh relationship is kind of on a seesaw it's up and down and but you know they had agreed to do counseling but she says mama joyce has been going to counseling on her own they're not going together she's been doing that um and so they seem to be in a good place for right now drew shows up Ralph is with her. She said Ralph has always uh, played the part of a good husband. He's going to show up when it's time to show up. And I guess that's during camera time, which is what we get to see a lot of. And play the part of like he he's, you know, that everything is okay, which is what we've seen throughout their relationship uh, since they've been on this, this, this show. Uh, everybody's talking about how good, you know, Drew played, Drew played her part in that. That's why, you know, they were just saying they can't believe how she just had a fit over the issue of saying that she kissed a girl before because she really played this part. Nobody saw any, any uncomfortableness or whatever, but Drew's thing is, and that's how you act. That's a good actress. <laughs> so she's still like, you know, it's, it's acting. Uh, we also get a glimpse of Ty. They made sure to show us, you know, Drew and Ty hugging and the point Ty out. So we'll know because she plays a big part in this whole thing with her and Ralph and this whole, the rumors of what's going on with the marriage. So we get to see that. When Courtney shows up, Allison, Drew's sister Allison is there. And, you know, Allison kind of tries to start to have a conversation with Courtney about this bitch thing. Courtney says, you know, let's go to the side and talk. We can discuss it, but let's go to the side. So they have a discussion about it guys i don't know why allison is even dealing with this allison doesn't look like she's still in a place to where she needs to be dealing with any issues she needs to focus on herself please allison she doesn't look mentally all the way there to me um and like i said i don't know why um they even put her in this season really i guess to bring mental awareness to the forefront but i still don't think she's just healed yet uh you can still kind of see the emotional roller coaster she's on with things but for some reason she felt like she needed to talk to courtney and set her straight about her sister you know we're calling her a bitch uh it was nothing much to say there uh, uh courtney apologizes she apologized but she didn't apologize she did it she said it but she didn't say it is how she put it i said it but i didn't say it but i didn't mean anything by it when i said it we get the rundown on everybody at the end. We see that Candy uh, didn't win the Tony Award, but she's still working on getting the EGOT. And that the pass is out streaming now for everybody to watch. It actually, I think, came out this weekend or something. I got to watch that. Uh, we see that Sheree and Martell are still just friends, which we knew. Nothing new, guys. Nothing new. We knew that. And that her fibroids are healed. We don't have to have Sheree back. She didn't have a storyline. She never does. Uh, this was some made-up stuff with Martell. <laughs> they can take her. And we see that Marlo is still working on expunging her criminal record and meeting with her life coach. You can take Marlo off, too. We don't have to have her back. She has nothing to offer the show. However, she did calm down a lot. Just, just showing her ass every, just right and left at, at every turn. So it was at the end of the season, but she did calm down a lot, act like she had some sense. But we still, I don't have to have her back. I don't know about you guys, but I don't have to see her back. Yeah, meeting with her life coach. Her and Scott Lee are still just friends. She lets us know that. I don't know. She says they're friends, but when he's around, she try to play it like it's more. I don't know. I don't know what Marlo's doing, but I don't, I don't get the impression that she's interested in uh, Scott Lee liked that. It was also just something, try to get a storyline um, for her, which didn't work. We see that Kenya is still, she's working on growing her family. She uh, is working on doing a soft opening for uh, Kenya Moore Hair Care. She still doesn't have a divorce yet. I don't know what is taking so long. This has got to be the longest divorce in history, guys. It's like these are some millionaire people fighting or can't agree on things cost her money and it's it couldn't be farther from the truth okay at the end of all that we get a screen that says it's now january 28 2023 and 
you know, that's when the film he wrapped for the show. And Drew filed for divorce on March 1st, 2023. So we get all these clips of the tabloids, of what's going on with the, her and Ralph and the tabloids, what the streets are saying. After that, I don't know why they were jumping so much, but I could have put this back when they were doing the wrap-ups. But we see what Sonya, she, her family finally moved at the house, but they moved like 10 minutes away from her. And come to find out, Sonya, Sonya, she lost the first baby, the baby she was pregnant with during the filming. And it was a real tragic, you know, event. Of course, the loss of a child at any time is. But she is now pregnant again. Uh, and we'll get to see that at the reunion. So they had some more taping to come after all these events took place. You know, like I said, with the tabloids, we seeing the talk of what's going on. They had Drew to come back and talk. Drew and Ralph came in separately. And, you know, they're asking Drew, you know, what's going on? Is there any truth to these rumors? And so Drew is like, I don't, I don't know what they're saying. What, what's going on? What happened? She said, they're saying a lot of things, so I, I can't comment on what you're talking about. And so she happens to see this Mimi posted a pic of Drew and Ty. Like they were out together or whatever. And she, she's saying like, yeah, they're a couple. Now, what y'all take, take this, you know, y'all take this and do what you want to do with it. Of course, Drew hasn't really just said anything yet. She's doing a lot of laughing or making a lot of insinuations uh, to like people are just reading stuff. You know, it's, they're making more of something than what it is. It's not like that. Uh, we have Courtney, too, also talking like, yeah, Drew and Ty are in a relationship. And she says they are a thing. Ralph, he he's saying that uh, he doesn't think they are a thing. I'm not sure, but he does ask his attorney, can he speak on, you know, something in detail or whatever. And the attorney says, no, he can't say anything about it. So he kind of leaves it right there. Uh, I guess it would be incriminating. I don't know. Uh, but to me, it looks like they are, or there was something going on or is, but Drew is, I don't, I guess she's holding on to that. If she's going to tell us later, I don't know. But at the end, we just get that Drew and Ralph are still, uh, cohabitating together, uh, raising the kids. So I don't know if guys, if they intend to keep staying together and just living their separate lives or is, is this a hoax? I mean, are we read more into it than what it was? But one thing I do know that wasn't a lie is Drew and Ralph's relationship. It has stayed consistent from when they first got on this show, guys. It's like I said before, they are, he's on Venus, she's on Mars. It's, they could, it could be the same situation and they see it totally different. It, and it, it and almost like to, uh, we get us, we would get to see a side of Drew and Ralph that was rehearsed for the show to, to give us this image up front. And sometimes it's like somebody didn't come to practice or they didn't get the memo on. Okay. Uh, we're not talking about this in this scene. Cause sometimes you will see Ralph throw it off. Like we didn't talk about this. You didn't say you was going to bring this up. And you know, and Drew gaslighting to me would bring stuff up to make him look bad. Well, she can't make him look bad, but it just be, you already knew this about Ralph. She'll bring it up in front of us, but I think behind the scenes, it's like, maybe she's giving the impression everything's okay, because he comes out like, we're all, you know, we're all good, everything's all good. Just like she threw up, threw, threw out, yeah, we're not even sleeping in the same bedroom. And he did a little look like, yeah, we're not, but you know why we're not, because, like I said, it's like, we didn't rehearse that part. You didn't say we were going to tell this. So... It's just crazy just to see their interactions with each other. It's, it's comical to me. And it's like, <laughs> I don't even know, like, how they even got together. It's, 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 it's funny. It's funny. But anyway, guys, that's this episode of uh, The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Next week, we're going to have the first episode of The Reunion. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if I left anything out or just if you want to just discuss anything. Also, guys, hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I post new content. And whatever, just come back and just, just come back. Just come back. And let's just continue to view. Well, not for this show because it's, well, we'll do the, re the uh, reunion. But, you know, this show is ending. But there'll be more. Anyway, thank you guys and I'll see you next time.